Uh, our friend Chef Tenoria is here ahead of National Stop Food Waste Day. That is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Let's go check in with her. Let's hang yeah. out. What's up, Tenoria? Tenoria. How are you, buddy? How are you? I'm great. How are you both? We're doing I just, great. I just realized that this says compost on it. Yes. Yeah. That's cool. I That's am awesome. like Garden Bay right now. Garden Bay? <laughs> I am. I've got, you know, my obsession with all the plants. Yeah. 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 But I'm ready to start my garden, so I've like started my compost. I'm yeah. doing it. I'm I in it. it. You're all in. Yes. Yes. Garden you know no season. other way. I will probably get one tomato, but you know I'm gonna try. It's gonna be a happy. It's gonna one. be the best <laughs> tomato you've ever had. <laughs> yeah. You are not wrong about that. Mm -hmm. You are not wrong about so that. So with this day coming up, avoiding food waste, let's talk about why this is such an important topic. Yeah. So I mean, we throw away so much food. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. in our state and also in our country and I just one of the things that I love to do is to reinvent food and find ways to reduce waste okay. yes. food um, and so there's a few different things you can do composting being one of them y'all I brought my compost straight from home it's full oh, wow. it's full. oh look at that it's about time to be emptied okay. but veggie scraps yep. eggshells okay. coffee grounds yep. This is some bell pepper I had from making gumbo for dinner yesterday. Okay. Nice. So all of that in the compost. And then I, this is a compostable bag. Cool. Yeah. And I am going to empty that into my, um, let's see what happens compost bin. Yes. I haven't committed to the whole, you know, yeah. Yeah. machine. It's yeah. a lifestyle. But yeah. It it's is. a lifestyle. It is. And yes. I, I don't know if I'm that girl. <laughs> So we're gonna try it. You're though. doing more than most though, yeah. I'll tell you that. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. there are some great local services that will actually come and pick up your compost for you. Oh cool. So that's okay. you're not that person. Yeah. yeah. They will come pick it up. If you want some for your garden, they will drop some off. Great. So that is search great. for those kind of services if you really wanna do composting but not fully commit at home. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but then the the chicken thighs that I put in my gumbo last night, I, I deboned them. So good. Um, so there's the I, bones. I have yeah. the bones left. I have my celery scraps. Okay. I've got my onion scraps. Oh wow, with the skin on too. With the yeah. skin on because we're only getting the liquid from this. Yeah. And these are just some sad carrots I had at oh, home. Oh, just sad. They are just sad. Unpeeled. <laughs> just sad. Unpeeled. Yeah. But you are still showing them so much love. Yes. Think, give them know? a good wash. Give them a good scrub. Sure. And then I'm going to fill this pot up with water. Those chicken bones, you can roast them oh. before if okay. you want to. Okay. Right. Um, and it already just, smells good. Well, yeah, it, it does. does. What does the roasting <laughs> of the bones do? It is going to caramelize the bones, draw out those natural sugars. Oh. Okay. And that's what's going to create more flavor. Did not know that. In the uh, Gotta roast those broth. Bones. Roast those bones. Roast yeah. those bones. Yeah. And then we're just going to simmer this. This is the last of some herbs that I had from a dinner party last weekend. Ooh, what kind of herb is this? This is some thyme. I'm not going to throw in rosemary because it's going to be a little strong. Y'all are too much. There's so much, y'all. So much. Sorry. Go on. <laughs> Tell us more. What kind oh, of, my what word. Kind of herb is this? Oh we're gosh, it is that kind of morning. Gonna, you guys, do you need some, make it do you need some you can, pepper in Tudorian, You can so tell we love you pepper. because whenever we hang out with you, we end up having laugh attacks because I we know. feel too comfortable. And I, yes. I love it. Yeah. So we've got, got pepper. About herbs. We've got salt. It was an earnest <laughs> question. It was. It was <laughs> and this is just going to simmer until yeah. the next spot where we use this stock okay. to make soup. Okay, what kind of soup are we making? Yes. We're gonna make egg drop soup. Ooh. Oh, super quick. I love right? that. And really all you need is stock and eggs. Yeah. yeah. Um, but other things you can do with food waste, you can repurpose your leftovers. So if you made a pasta dish, find a way to bake it. Yeah. Okay. Or um, you can put leftover pasta in a frittata. You can take mashed potatoes and make pierogies or potato mm. cakes. Yeah. So many different things you can do before you just chuck stuff in the trash. That's great. And this recipe is in your cookbook, Staples yes, Plus this 5. This stock recipe is in Staples great. Plus 5. Yeah. It is, I feel like everyone should have stock at home. Mm -hmm. I still buy stock from the store yeah. as well, but that Costco rotisserie chicken, it's mm. my favorite hack. It's your jam. Take the bones and all the things mm. left over from the chicken, yeah. put it in food storage bags. Once that food storage bag is full, stick it in a pot, mm -hmm. veggie scraps, and you have stock, and then you can freeze it. What's That's the psychology perfect. behind someone like eating an entire rotisserie chicken by themselves? Hey, I know lots of people do it, and you know what I say? <laughs> Good for you for getting in your protein. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. That's right. Good we all you. know that I love to eat a, a whole rotisserie chicken. Can't 
cave woman style. Whether it's in your car, it off. Just, just like a medieval peasant. Like standing. Honestly, like, when you counter. buy it though, you can't not just yank off a leg. Right. right. Sit it in the passenger seat. That's what yeah. I'm saying. You're in the driver's seat. You're at yeah. a stoplight. Yeah. You at least need to yank off a leg. Just and yank off a leg. Yeah. 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 Yes. Just do it. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Thank you for your support in this. Yes. Love it. Yeah, so uh, you are also, you've that. got one opening for a private chef for a yes. starting in May. Yes. Okay. So my schedule does not open up often for me to come into your home and prepare your meals weekly. Yeah. But I have a one spot available. Book her. So if you are interested, you She's can fantastic. check me out on social media. There are all of my things. Awesome. Find me there. Inquire. One and two R's to Nora. That's yeah. right. Awesome. Yes. Thanks, friend. We'll the see best. you later in the show. Yes. 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 We'll yeah. see you cool. later on. Thank you so much. Thank you. Coming up next, we're going to tell you about some fun new dining options in Fishers that you can check out today on National Picnic Day. Oh, I love a good feature of the 46038. We're going to be right back with our friend <laughs> Stephanie from the city of Fishers. Jill, you want to hold these herbs? I, would... <laughs> I love a good herb. <laughs>